So I had a question and I've done tons of videos on like what my time is like as a trauma PA, but specifically I was asked a question about on call. And so if you don't know what on call is and you want to know what on call is or you want to be into the PA profession, um, this video is for you. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I had one of the comments posted by one of you all, so if you have not like liked my videos or subscribed or hit that notification bell to know exactly when a new video is coming out and left a comment, go ahead and do that right now. But this comment was posted by Taylor Black. So Taylor said, I'm currently in undergrad majoring in biology. I'm interested in becoming a pediatric physician assistant but I'm not sure if physician assistants have to work on call, which is something I don't want. As a physician assistant, do you have to work on call? All right, so that is what I'm gonna be answering today. And if you don't know what on call means, um, have no fear, I'm gonna, add, I like, I'm gonna answer that question as well. Uh, but before I get into that video, I do wanna say you guys need to join me on Tuesday because I will be reviewing another school also, I have realized that there are a ton of schools to review and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do some of these reviews live through my GTCU forum. So you're going to have to join GTCU to see some of those schools that I'm reviewing as well because there are over like 300 PA programs and I think I might even like start in, like reviewing some of the international ones as well. So that's going to bring my scope out even more. So if you're interested in knowing about all the schools, then you have to follow me on YouTube uh, and at the same time join GTCU, okay? So just a disclaimer for you guys that I'm gonna be putting out uh, content on GTCU as well. Okay, so Taylor, um, yes, uh, sometimes PAs have to work on call. And so with that being said, it's all dependent on the specialty that you're in. So for PEDS, typically a pediatric PA is working in the kind of like nine to five, eight to four. It's very much your typical 40 hour work week. So I've never seen a pediatric PA that is on call as of yet, but it's not to say that they, they're on aren't any. Um, maybe some of them work like shift work where it's nighttime and so I don't know if it's necessarily on call or if they're in the NICU. Uh, maybe they're on call there but when it comes to being a PA in any of the surgical subspecialties, especially if you have like a private office and an attending that you work with and you're like the only PA, you may have to take call. And so what does it mean to take call? It means that if something like, you know, serious that were to come into the hospital, uh, you have to be the one, you're like the specialist, so you're gonna be the one that they're calling. So call looks differently for different specialties and different people. So for me, my on-call means 24 hours. I am on a 24-hour shift, and so when the ED has, you know, somebody is coming in with abdominal pain and, you know, they did an ultrasound, and they see that there are you know stones in the biliary duct or whatever the case may be and they're you know diagnosing this patient with cholelithiasis or like um you know cholecystitis then they call us and so as the general surgery acute care surgery pa what we have to do is now go see the patient. We have to get a history from that patient. We have to ask them like how long have they been having this pain? You know, you know what makes it better? What makes it worse? You know, have you eaten anything? Because depending on how bad their gallbladder looks or their appendix looks or you know their obstruction looks, whatever the case may be, they may need to have surgery. And so we have to make that initial assessment, then go to our attendings, tell them what we've found, and then they'll decide whether or not uh, the patient is sick enough to go to surgery immediately or just be admitted and have um, that surgery done on this current admission. That's how my on-call looks. I come in at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., like that morning, and I don't leave until sometimes nine the following day. That's me. Uh, for somebody else, they might be able to take call at home. You know, it's not in the hospital. So what that means is 
they're at home and the same thing can happen you know uh, they get a call that hey we have somebody that has a pleural effusion or somebody that has a PE if they are a vascular PA and so if that is the case and you don't have access to your EMR system at home then you actually have to go into the hospital see the patient go through all the steps that i went through as the acute care surgery pa then call your attending and see exactly what they want you to do either staff the patient you know admit them and have them booked and you know posted and consented for surgery that day or the following day or not and that's how it works now there is also the option that you can take call from home but you do have access to the EMR system so you can look at all those images there and then that means that you don't necessarily have to go in you can look at them at home you can see is the patient really uh, ill uh, is this something that can wait till the morning when you actually get to work because usually you're one of those PAs that are working kind of in that nine to five, eight to four job. Uh, so you're gonna come in the following day, they would admit the patient to either your service or the medicine service, and then you would see them on your rounds. And so there are various different aspects of taking call, but yes, as PAs, we do have to take calls. It all depends on what specialty you're in. My call is a 24 hour call. I love it because I get days off and yes, there is a day that I use to kind of recover and sleep and really get some good rest. But at the end of the day, I get to still spend so much more time with my family than going in five days a week and yet still having to take call every weekend or every other weekend. And that's also something that can actually happen. It all depends on uh, the, the office that you work with. If they have other PAs, if they have other attendings, maybe each of you is taking call like once a month, like one weekend a month. So you would take call for that Saturday and Sunday. And if there's any issues, the providers in the hospital will call you, get your assessment, and then go from there. But it's not as bad as you would think, uh, but it, it really just depends on the model that you're working under. So hopefully this answers your question, Taylor. If you have any other questions for me, you guys, you already know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and on Instagram at Get That's University. Don't forget to join me on Tuesday for the next school that I will be doing the live kind of review deep dive with you all. And I will also be posting other live deep dives of other schools on GTC see you uh, in the weeks to come so probably on like Thursday or Friday you'll see that as well so if you're interested in seeing all of the various different programs you definitely should check out GTCU thank you guys so much for watching I will talk to you guys next time